World War One, the Great War, the war to end all wars. Now, with modern technology, we have recreated it, and we can see the First World War as the soldiers who fought in it, and those on the home front didn't see it. World War One in cardboard. This is the Fjörker DL-1 triplane, most famous for being the plane flown by the Red Baron, Manfred von Richardson. And this is a Sopwith Camel, most famous for being the plane that shot down the Red Baron. It's this famous dogfight that's been recreated in cardboard. But not all planes were fighters, like this voice in Bomber. It was the first heavy bomber, and on the 14th of August 1914, it bombed the Zeppelin hangars at Metz Frascati in France, although it had been occupied by Germany since 1871. As the war went on, bombers improved, like with this Gotha. But not all bombers were planes. Zeppelins raided Britain at night, dropping bombs between 1915 and 1917. This is a dreadnought. It was so influential that every ship built before it is called a pre-dreadnought. HMS Dreadnought was the first of the dreadnoughts. The only problem with the dreadnoughts was that they were so expensive the Navy couldn't afford to lose one, and they were kept in harbours for much of the First World War. There were ten dreadnoughts in all. The target is completely destroyed, but there's one thing a dreadnought can't defeat. A U-boat. The Mark I heavy tank was the first tank. Tanks were originally called land ships, but were named tanks because during transport they were labelled water tanks to stop German spies finding out what they were. The Mark I came in male and female versions. The male had two six-pounder guns, one on either side, and four eight-millimeter Hotchkiss machine guns. The female had two Vickers machine guns, one on either side, and four eight-millimeter Hotchkiss machine guns. The Mark Ones were first used on the 15th of September 1916 at the Battle of the Somme. If a bullet hit a tank on one of the seams, bits of molten metal would fly around inside it. To protect their faces, the crew would wear chain mail masks, but these were uncomfortable, so many would put blankets on the walls to protect them. The German soldiers had never seen them before, and many ran away.
22nd of April 1915, the Second Battle of Ypres. The German army has just released chlorine gas and the wind is carrying it over to the British trench. Chlorine reacts with water in the windpipe and creates hydrochloric acid. This dissolves the lungs and the victim dies. Later in the war, gas masks were developed to stop gas killing soldiers. In 1917, the Germans used mustard gas against the Russians. They fired it in a shell and when it didn't explode, the Russian soldiers put on gas masks. After a while of wearing their gas masks, they realised it must have been a false alarm because nobody had smelt anything and they took their masks off. But mustard gas has delayed effects and by the morning all of the soldiers in that area of the trench were either dead or in hospital.